Imagine a world where you can become a space traveler and Mars or Moon is on your list of favorite holiday destinations. Imagine humans are mining gold and silver in space and transporting it back to Earth and scientists are sending researches and satellites to space frequently. Would you like to live in a world like that or would you even believe that this can happen in the near future? Ten years back, this looked almost impossible, but not anymore. Hi guys, this is Prateek and you are watching Eclectic. Here we talk about our past, present and the future. There was a time when traditional space organizations used to take 10 to 15 years for building a single satellite. In 2008, the SpaceX became the first company to send a privately made rocket Falcon 1 to space. Since then, everything has changed in the space industry. The total market for satellites, space related services and rocket launches has exploded from $60 billion per year to $200 billion per year. Big billionaires like Jeff Bezos are pouring their money into the space industry. I'm laying out here today is obviously a multi-generation vision. One of the things that we have to do is inspire those future generations. And so today I'm announcing that Blue Origin is founding the Club for the Future, whose mission is to inspire young people to build the future of life in space. Jeff Bezos owned Blue Origin, Elon's, SpaceX and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic are some of the private companies that are revolutionizing the space industry for good. Let us see how the space industry is changing in four segments. First, how are small satellites changing the Earth observation industry and medical research? Second, planetary resources. Third, and the most exciting one, space tourism. Fourth, how NASA is planning to make Mars a livable planet for humans. The United States manufactures about one third of all the satellites in the world and takes about 60% of all the global revenues in satellite industry. Rest goes to China, Europe and Russia. However, China's role is most likely to increase in the space industry after 2022. Coming back to the satellites. Conventional satellites are big, slow and costly. So with the rapid advancement of technologies, now many companies are making satellites smaller and smaller. Small satellites are powerful enough to perform the tasks that used to be performed by bigger satellites. That is why private companies and military are favoring small satellites. Now smaller and lighter satellites are available starting from 1 kg in total weight. Right now India holds a world record of launching the world's lightest satellite that weighs just 64 grams. The US military as well as the militaries of other nations want to launch smaller and cheaper satellites on short notice. In another case, medical and consumer goods industries are interested in frequent rides to space to study how a lack of gravity affects their products. All this would be possible only if sending satellites to space becomes cheaper and that is exactly what SpaceX has delivered in recent years. SpaceX has dramatically reduced the cost of launching satellite. The Falcon 9 rocket of SpaceX can carry a payload of 5000 to 10,000 kg to space in just 60 million dollars. Before SpaceX, other companies used to charge more than 200 million dollars per launch. So that is a dramatic improvement in reducing cost. However, these small satellites could be sent to space only with other satellites. SpaceX cannot afford to send these small satellites individually and that is where the Rocket Lab comes into play. Rocket Lab's Rocket Electron can take a payload of 1 kg to 150 kg in a single flight at the cost of 5 million dollars per launch. Before 2008, NASA used to spend billions on their launching projects and now it is becoming cheaper day by day. Now let us see the planetary resources. Planetary resources is an American company which has a goal to expand Earth's natural resource base. Their plan is to mine the natural resources from asteroids and comets. Yes, asteroid mining has become a real thing now. Minerals can be mined from an asteroid or spent comet for construction in space or for transporting them back to Earth. Gold, silver, platinum, rhodium and tungsten can be mined from asteroids. Planetary Resources aims to use robotics for mining. They are developing a robotic asteroid mining industry. Everything we hold of value on Earth, metals, minerals, energy, real estate, are in near infinite quantities in space. Our goal is to prospect, claim and extract resources from near Earth asteroids. Now my favorite one, space tourism. 
currently private companies are competing with each other to send humans on Mars and the top contenders are the SpaceX and Virgin Galactic right now SpaceX has the capability to take you on the trip to moon and back SpaceX can also take you to the international space station to spend some days there Elon Musk believes in making all these inventions accessible to the general public and not just to rich elites for that reducing the cost per trip is important to do that SpaceX manufactures all the components in house at the SpaceX it also focuses on reusability of rockets SpaceX has even announced their first ever customer the first tourist who is going to travel to the moon he's a japanese billionaire yusaku maezawa not just SpaceX even the richard branson's virgin galactic is determined to take humans to the space currently virgin galactic can take you to the age of space for 4 minutes today we pass the most significant of them all as our beautiful vss unity along with the hopes and dreams of so many became the first spaceship built for regular passenger service to put humans into space This test was all about proving the Virgin Galactic spaceship is safe. The rocket that will one day carry tourists to the Virgin we sent the Virgin pilots soaring so high, they can actually see the curvature of the Earth and for a few hundred thousand dollars, you can too. Dawn in California as Virgin Galactic spaceship to mothership lifted off from the Mojave Desert, climbing through a cloudless sky all the way to 50,000 feet, then release. Spaceship 2's pilots in a sudden freefall. Rolling to the right. Before firing their rocket, then extreme acceleration. Mach 1, Mach 2, then nearly three times the speed of sound, soaring to 51.4 miles beyond what the FAA calls the edge of space. Spaceship Unity, welcome to space. Jaffe Base, million dollar view. The, what 700 customers have already paid a quarter million dollars to experience for just four minutes. The curvature of the Earth, the Western U.S., Canada, even Mexico. Now Branson says he hopes to fly within six months, then start carrying the customers who've already signed up, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Bieber, and Tom Hanks. Now I am about to tell you the most interesting thing, which very few people know. NASA has already been working on how humans can survive on Mars. They have found solutions for basic problems like lack of water and oxygen. The atmosphere on Mars is 100% humid, and this. is the dehumidifier made in the university of washington this device can extract all the water humans need simply from the atmosphere on mars now how we will breathe mars atmosphere has 96% co2 means carbon dioxide and co2 molecule contains 78% oxygen the scientist of mit mr michael hecht has developed this machine which can suck the martian air full of co2 and pump out oxygen In the next mission to Mars, NASA is going to send this device to the Mars. On the other hand, private company SpaceX is developing a Dragon capsule which is specifically designed to take humans to Mars. Big Falcon rocket will have to carry this capsule. When on 28 February 2018, SpaceX launched a Falcon Heavy, they opened the doors of all the possibilities of sending humans to Mars. Five, four, three, two, and at the end here is a gentle reminder of what this channel is all about at my channel i make videos on our past our present and our possible future in that process i cover topics like history philosophy politics 
science, technology and the social issues of 21st century and much more. So consider subscribing if you are interested in any of that. Go ahead check out the playlist and videos that are already available. Subscribe if you find them interesting and also I assure you that more interesting content will keep coming up. If it is possible for you economically support my channel on patreon.com.